Dozens of people came out here to the Orange County Public Schools Administration Building to not just pay their condolences, but to call for change. And this location is just one of several held in our area today. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hatred cannot hate drive out hatred. Only love can do that. So it seems altogether fitting that we are having a candlelight vigil tonight to drive out the darkness with light and with your help to drive out the hatred with love. With candles aglow and heads bowed, tonight's vigil in Orlando began with a simple prayer for the 17 people killed in last week's shooting. We can't imagine a fear that was felt when a teacher realized that this alarm was not a drill. For one teacher, sending her own kids to school is scary. I'm afraid to send them to the school sometimes, and I'm even scared when I'm working at the school. Across central Florida and Seminole County, more crowds gathered where Superintendent daughter, Walt Griffin spoke. Son or daughter. Luke Hoyer. And in Volusia County, candles were lit as names of the victims were read. But for some, like 10th grader Paula Cortez, vigils and protests aren't enough. People are like, oh, we're going to do a walkout about this. And yeah, protesting about it is, is going to get. So what do you want to see done? I want gun control laws. So what's the next step after today? Educators here say they're going to be taking the fight to Tallahassee this Wednesday, where busloads of people are expected to arrive fighting for change. In Orlando, Sonica Dange, West 2 News.